romantic, electrifying evening you have ever had in your life. Eh, uh, if Susie ever shows up. Oh, I like totes forgot about the date. Besides, I'm like only here because I want a rose. Like they're so pretty. Wait, are you like recording this? Mm, Cherie, let me use my strength to win a prize for you. <laughs> hmm, must be a prank. Look at Ma. Come, Cookie. Let's not waste our time on this broken machine. Cookie ball! Cookie, my darling, please accept this rose. You are the winner. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all for this season of The Spatula. Thanks for watching. Check you later. Shop hands, shop hands. Are you recording? Oh, oh my gosh, Shoppies! I have so much to tell you. So much has happened in the last few days. We met the sweetest new Shopkin named Susie Sunday. Oh, um, hi. <laughs> and we have moved to the most foodtastic place ever, Shopville. We just love it here. Some of us more than others. Who knew there was such a great big world outside the small mart? But I have to tell you, leaving wasn't the easiest decision for everyone. Come on, Cheeky. I promise nothing outside will hurt you. Um, if you say so. <laughs> Ow. Inside, however, is a different story. <laughs> She's okay now. There's so much here to see and do and learn. Like, what's that? Ah, oh, you mean the stationery store? Stat Ion Airy? Huh, sounds fascinating. Wow! Well, that's all for now. I can't wait to share our new adventures with you. Check, Check you, you later. later. Bye. Shop hands, shop hands. Uh, hey, Libby, what's going on? You don't know? The famous fashion designer, Shady Diva, is in Shopville unveiling her latest line. All this for some shady lady? <gasps> oh my gosh, she's here! <sighs> Hello, darlings. <laughs> I'm your biggest fan. I so hope you'll choose me as your next muse. Hmm, wouldn't you all? And what are you supposed to be? I'm Toasty Pop. I didn't ask who you are. I asked what you are. A toaster? Hmm. Toaster. Ta -da! Ah! My eye! Oh no! What did you do? I'm so, so sorry. You! You amazing creature! You shall be my next muse! You're what? She what? I can just see it now. My new muse. You, Miss Toasty, shall be a star. Your face on all the magazine covers around the world. You'll be famous, darling. No, thanks. No? I know I'm pretty awesome, but I'm awesome just the way I am. Maybe ask Lippy. Ah! Maybe not. Very well, darlings. I'm off. Toasty, if you ever change your mind, be sure to contact me. Ta-da! I won't. If you like, I'll tell everyone it was you who turned her down and not me. Thank you. Check you later, darlings.
Welcome shoppers to another day of adventure and discovery as we bring you Shopkins of the Wild. We start our journey with Spilt Milk, otherwise known as Cleanest Uppers in Isle Forest, who's refining her native camouflage skills. This carton of milk's ability in concealment is second to none. Here, we encounter the ferociously fiery Toasty Pop, otherwise known as Toastus Burntolotus, hunting in her natural habitat. Watch as she patiently stalks her prey. Her stealth-like movement renders her victims completely unaware that... <gasps> Sacre bleu! B -b -b burnt bagels and muffins! Ah, clearly this toaster has a lot to learn. And finally, after months of waiting, the baby-faced Shoppers Dummy Me Diaper Wiper is about to take her first steps. How magical and beautiful this delicate young... Hello? Oh, yes, yes, no problem. I can come around just after four. Fantastic, I'll see you then. Whoops, got to go. Well, it looks like we might be waiting some time for this Shopkin to <laughs> fully bloom. That's all we have time for this evening. Check you later. Shopkin, Shopkin. Cheeky, what are you doing? Thinking. Thinking about what? The doors. The, the doors? doors? Yep. What about it? Well, what do we really know about them? They open and close. They're blue? No, I already know that. <laughs> I mean, what's past them? Oh, yeah. I guess we've never left before. Toasty said once she got squished in them, but I don't think that counts. Slick once told me that beyond the doors lies the land of Picnic. A land where mysterious monsters named ants rule and eat unsuspecting shoppers. <gasps> How horrifying! Slick's just trying to scare you. There's no such thing as ant monsters. <laughs> I kind of figured. It's a fun story, though. You and I have very different definitions of fun. <laughs> I'm still no closer to finding out what's out there. Why don't you just look? What are you saying? I think she's saying you should look. Oh, ha ha. I know that, but it's not like I can just walk up to the doors, wait for them to open, then walk outside. It's just not that easy. Kooky makes it look pretty easy. What? Oh no! Kooky! I'm sure she's fine. But what about the ant monster? Oh no! Come on, guys, that's just a story. Besides, if it were true, what's to stop the ants from walking through those doors right now and eating us all up? Ah, yes! Uh, hello? Check you later. Shopkins, Shopkins! Hello, Shopkins! It is time for our annual chocolate hunt. Cheeky will hide somewhere in the store, and the first Shopkin to find her wins their choice of either the bunny plushie uh -huh. or the new car! If we fail to find Cheeky, the prize goes to her. That car is as good as mine. Cheeky, to your mark. Ready? Go, Shopkins! Kooky, aren't you going to hunt for Cheeky? Uh-huh. Aren't you going to run? Nuh uh Okay. Well, good luck. With us working together, we should double the chance of winning. Yep. <laughs> Nothing can escape our gaze. Yeah, mon chéri. I will not let you escape me. Nothing can distract my keen senses. Sacre bleu. Who is this <laughs> handsome fellow? Oh. <laughs> I've so got this car, but just to be safe, I'll head to my perfect hiding spot. That cheeky, where could she be? Uh, oh no! <gasps> Sacre bleu! <gasps> cheeky, are you okay? Yes, just get her off me! She's so heavy! But how? Well, I thought no one would be silly enough to still be at the starting line. Cookie ball! <laughs> I was wrong. You win, Kooky. Pick your prize. Yay! At least maybe I can borrow the car. Uh, um, uh, mm. uh. The, the, the car! Check you later. Ah, 
part of the decorations for the opening ceremony and you are not helping. Relax. I'm just practicing my winning face. Your winning face? Yeah, you know, when everything is in slow-mo and you barrel through the finish line and you're all like... <laughs> like this. <laughs> You want to be a winner, you need to visualize winning. And as team captain for the Small Mart, I want all of you to do the same. Now, drink this. Oh, what on earth is that? It's a cheeky charge up made from milk, spinach, kale, and the tears of all my competitors that I've beaten over the years. You collect tears? That's like kind of weird. <laughs> Welcome to the first official Shopville Games. We have shoplets competing from all across Shopville, including the toy store, sports store, music store, tech town, fashion boutique, and the small mart. Please stand for the Shopkins National Anthem, sung by our very special guest, Miss Cupcake Queen. <clears throat> Shopkins, Shopkins, da, 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 da. No, Shopkins! Breathtaking, absolutely breathtaking. I have chills. Mainly because it's slightly cold today, but also because of that performance. Which leads us to our first official event. Yolanda Yo-Yo diving first for Team Toy Store. What an incredible display of shop lattices. A disappointing dive from Max Saxophone. And saves it by finding the keys the judge lost in the water fountain three months ago. Now, for Team Small Mark. Do us proud, Lippy. Hold on. I'm going to get wet if I jump in there. No, thank you. Too cold. Lippy Lips fails to jump. Now, for Team Sport. Simultaneously taking out the gold medal in both the water fan and diving and ice skating events. What a win! I can't believe you did that to the team, Lippy. You're benched! <gasps> so, what does that mean exactly? Is there an actual bench that I have to sit on? Oh, yeah, it's just that one over there. You know, it's actually quite comfortable, but I'm still not happy about this! Great warm-up set, everybody. Only a thousand more to go. Ugh. Hey, Lippy. I'm really sorry about benching you yesterday. No hard feelings? Of course. You had to do what you had to do. It's all water under the bridge. All right, Shopkins. It's time for day two of the Shopville Games, hosted by the Fashion Boutique. Are you serious, Lippy? You're switching teams? Hey, you benched me. Why would Shady even pick you? I thought she'd ask Toasty. I'll have you know that she picked me straight away. Oh, please, Miss Diva, I need to find a new team. Pick me, pick me. Uh, what about you over there, the tall one? That's a tree. Uh, fine, come quickly. Yes. There may have been some minor convincing required. Fine, go! We don't need you anyway. Calling all shop leads competing in today's event, the 100-meter catwalk. Uh -oh. whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not a model, Cheeky. I don't know what I'm doing. Just copy whatever Lippy does. Good luck. You're going to need it. Good luck. You're going to need it. Don't copy everything she does. On your marks, get set. 
And they're off, Linspring with an early lead as they approach the first fashion interval. Oh no, an early upset as Lin falls out of the race. Our remaining shop leads fast approaching the next interval. Sadie and Connie in a tangle. It's down to Lippy and Toasty as we approach the final leg. Lippy takes long, Lippy! Sorry, Cheeky, I tried my hardest. Oh, I can't wait to take these off. That's okay, Toasty. Why don't you take a seat over here? Thanks, Cheeky. Hey, you benched me. It's for the good of the team, Toasty. It's really starting to heat up here at the games, folks. The sports store leads the pack, followed by the fashion boutique, tech store, music store, and the small mark currently in last place. Wow, I would not like to be their team captain right now. <laughs> my betrayal face for when I run into Lippy. You know she's right over there. Hey, Lippy! Uh, Yoo-hoo! Hey, no fraternizing with the competition! Come on, Cheeky. All this competitive talk is driving us apart. We're not even performing well because we're not working as a team. You're right. We've been losing because I've been too focused on you guys performing well rather than my own performance. Pretty sure that's not what I meant. If this team really wants a fighting chance at winning, then I have to step up and compete in all of the events by myself. That's the exact opposite of what I meant. Pull! Cheeky Chocolate takes home the gold for Team Small Mart! <sighs> I'm totally going to beat you. Connie Console wins with a devastating 100 to nil victory in the soccer video game category. Now, for the long events. First off, the long jump. Long distance running. And finally, the long-distance phone call. Oh, hey, Cheeky. I'm actually right here. Ugh. Mushy, mushy. Lippy Lips wins for Team Fashion Boutique! The third day of the Shopville Games has come to a close. Let's take a look at our leaderboard. It's a dead heat between the Small Mart, Sports Store, and Fashion Boutique. This is tense, folks. It all comes down to the last event of the Games, the Shopville Relay. Who will win? No, honestly, that's not a rhetorical question. I literally have no idea. Who do you think's gonna win? Anybody? Hello? have chosen to combine their members, the Toy and Sports Store, the Fashion Boutique, Music Store, and Tech Tower. And competing for Team Small Mart is... It's just Cheeky Chocolate. Okay then, let's get this relay underway! On your marks, get set. I'm so sorry. Nothing is more important
than doing this relay together. That means the whole team. What a shake-up, folks. Apple, Toasty, and Lippy join Cheeky to form Team Small Mart, which leaves our other team one runner short. Microphone steps in to compete. Our shop leads try to focus on the race ahead. It's... On your marks, get set. And we're off! Lynn with an early lead, followed by Apple. Mike, with phone, slipping to last place with a very poor start. Mike happily hands over the baton to Connie. Connie makes a move, closing in on Lola and Lippy. Sadie takes the lead as we approach the final baton exchange. It's neck and neck as Yolanda, Cheeky, and Max Sacks approach the final stretch. It's a tie between all three teams. What an amazing end to the games. Check you later.